Hey y'all, so today I've decided I'm going to do a project and film it. Um, and I'm hoping that this will help some other people figure out how to um, take something that's old and make it new again. I just um, have this filing cabinet that I got at Walmart years ago. And it's just kind of boring and it doesn't really go with my apartment now and so I thought that I would fix it up and um, I'm gonna paint it white and then I'm going to attach these picture frames I'm gonna take this off and attach this frame to the door and um, put new door handles on it so I'm gonna be working on this project and filming it so yeah, if you are curious about how I'm going to do this, then keep watching for all the materials and the steps I take to turn this old brown file cabinet into something new. I took the um, picture that was in it out and took all the little tacks and things out of the picture frames. So now I'm going to sand everything down. Okay, so I just used this sandpaper and this block and lightly kind of sanded all over the tops and sides of that and the tops of the drawers. And I took the uh, drawer pulls off too. So now I'm going to paint with my chalk paint I made which is right here. So I'm going over everything um, with a paintbrush right now and it's giving me a look that has the paintbrush marks which I'm not really sure I want that many so I'm going to paint over both drawers and the file cabinet with a paintbrush and then I'm gonna go over it with the sponge roller. I think that's gonna give me the look I'm going for. I mean, and that looks kind of, you know, old and vintage, kind of rustic-y look I'm going for, but I don't want so many. So I'm gonna go over it. Plus I'm gonna be putting the um, antiquing glaze. So um, I think it'll look better with a more um, even coat. So I'm gonna do that now. Alright, so I have my paint tray ready. I just used a small paint tray and put some aluminum foil so it's easy cleanup. And I just realized that I got the wrong um, little rollers. I got the wrong size, but it still fits on my um, holder thingy. So I'm going to just use it like this because I don't really feel like going all the way back out to Lowe's to exchange it. So I think I can make this work. So I'm just going to get a little paint on here and then I'm going to roll it on the top of the cabinet. And you can see the finish is much smoother. This is actually what I used to paint my bedroom furniture with um, too. So I knew, you know, what the outcome was going to be and I really like the look of it. So I'm going to go over the whole file cabinet and the edges and then that drawer and that drawer and then um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna use the picture frames I held them up to it before I um, brought it over here and kinda looked like it would fit didn't really measure and now I'm noticing that it's kinda laying over the edge a little bit so I'm not sure if it's going to work, so I may end up not putting those on there, but um, here they are. Like if I lay it down on here, it looks like it fits, but there's a tiny bit of overhang, just a tiny bit. So I'm not sure if it will still slide in and out um, like it should with that tiny bit of overhang. So I'm going to finish painting these, and I'll see you in a minute. Alright, so I went over all the pieces of the file cabinet with 
the sponge roller and I decided to go ahead and paint the uh, frames so I started with a paintbrush and that was just too much so I just got out some white spray paint spray painted them white and now I'm gonna let everything dry for a little bit and uh, go from there so I think the wax is the next step or the glaze I think it's actually a glaze that I got where is it anyways here it is yeah so it's the Valspar antiquing glaze I always have issues with my camera focusing let's see how do we do this maybe if I zoom in no nope. oh I don't know maybe I don't have it on autofocus or something um, I'm gonna have to look into that anyways it's the antique glaze it says it creates a buildable aged or distressed effect and this color is Moose Mouse. So, um, yeah. I'm hoping this is going to give it the look I want it to have, but I guess we shall see. Okay, so I put some of that glaze that I showed, that antiquing glaze, on this file cabinet. And I used a wet rag, like it said. The directions weren't very clear, but I'm not sure that's what it's supposed to look like. Um, I'm gonna, I just did that side and the top. This is what it looked like before. But you can kind of see it there um, in the cracks. And it looks a little distressed on this side. Um, so I guess I'll just, you know, finish doing it the way I was doing it and hope for the best. I, I think it'll look okay. Looks, looks fine. I just have to do some tweaking. So. Okay, so I just put the glaze on the frame with a paintbrush, this paintbrush right here. And now I'm going to take a wet rag and try to do this with one hand and run across it to get most of the glaze off. And then it leaves like an antique look. <laughs> I'm trying to hold it with my foot. I like that. It looks better when you have something that has uh, got some edges on it. So that looks pretty good. All right, so now I'm gonna do this one. All right, so I got my glaze on my frames, my glaze on my file cabinet. I don't know if you can really tell. And the drawers, they're just kind of lightly brushed and then wiped with the, um, um, a wet cloth. So I guess I'm gonna have to let these dry. I'm not sure how I'm gonna attach these frames though. I'm thinking maybe wait and get some wood glue um, or maybe some small nails and just tack them in. I'm not really sure yet so I'm gonna think on that and um, decide what I'm gonna do while this stuff dries. Alright so I got one of the frames on and I didn't have any wood glue, but I decided to use some teeny tiny nails that I found. So I used these little bitty tiny nails, and I put one right there, and I put one right there, and I think I'm going to put one here and one here. Um, but it ended up being fine because the lip of the frame just sticks out a little bit, but the drawer closes all the way. So I like that. I like the way it looks. And um, so I'm going to get this one on that bottom drawer and then I, it'll be time for me to just do some touch up I've got a few places that I need to touch up um, I made a little mess right there when I was hammering in that nail but at least it um, looks good even though it's got a few flaws um, so yeah all right so there it is all put together um, the only thing is the uh, drawer pulls that I got the screws are too small so I'm gonna have to take those back I'm gonna go do that here in just a second and get some new ones and then I will be done it looks so good I'm so happy with the way it turned out I was gonna put polyurethane on it because I bought polyurethane but um, I just don't think I am I just I don't know I didn't do my other furniture I didn't put polyurethane on my other on my bedroom furniture that I painted with chalk paint so, um, I'm thinking that there's a little place there. 
that it'll be fine without it. So, yeah, I'm going to go get those drawer, drawer, <laughs> that is so hard to say, those drawer pulls, and then I will. Okay, so I just got back from Lowe's and I found some drawer pulls. I got the single ones. Um, I'm hoping that those will at least stay in better. So, um, yeah, I'm going to put those on now. I'm going to just do like one here and one here on both drawers. Um, these holes are four inches apart and I didn't see any drawer pulls at Lowe's that were four inches. There was one that was 99 millimeter or 96 centimeters but um i don't know if that's four inches or not so i didn't chance it so i'm gonna put these on i think they're gonna look really good well there it is it looks good i got the drawer pulls on this one actually had a screw that um was a tiny bit longer than the other one so it didn't tighten so i had to find a different screw and Thank goodness I did. So um, yeah, there is my file cabinet redone. I can't wait to put it in my apartment and see what it looks like. So um, I just want to say thanks for watching my video today. And if you liked it and you want to see more, you can click the like button and subscribe below. And I um, am thinking about doing another project really soon. So I might be filming that and putting that up as well. So if you want to see that, make sure you like and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video.